Hi, I'm Sophie from Souk Design. This is Villa Piscean. Come and take a peek in my paradise. This is our entrance with our temple and our pond area that takes you to the main part of the house. The pond area of the house, this entranceway, is probably the least touched in terms of our renovation. So this area was all already here, as well as our beautiful Ganesh statue and even this huge pot that were both in the house before we moved in. This is our outdoor living area that can also be closed in and AC'd, but we spend a lot of time here. This floor has a particularly lovely story because it was something we had in mind way before we even arrived in Bali. It's actually inspired by an 18th century uh, floor in an apartment in Istanbul. The furniture that we have throughout the house is designed almost exclusively by us through our business soup design. So this is our dining table is where as a family we spend most of our time at uh, mealtime. And this is a beautiful single solid piece of timber that Peter found randomly and turned into this gorgeous, almost impossible table with its diagonal legs. And the wood only gets more gorgeous with all the spillages and all the time spent at it. I spend a lot of time in the kitchen and this is mostly where I'm stationed while other people are moving all over the house. Until recently, this was a white polished concrete uh, countertop and we just did a recent renovation Peter created this beautiful pebble and sand aggregate mix and lined both the columns and the countertop, put all the timber veneer in, and it's really elevated both the function and the feel of this kitchen. And another lovely feature is that underneath we have mirror lining the columns, which gives a sense of them not even being there. They sort of become invisible and reflect the light from the different areas of the house. Okay, let me show you some other parts of the house. This is our gorgeous shaded terrace, which is a very Balinese feature, so that you always have the cool of shade. And our TV room, which features, again, a lot of some of our favourite pieces in our souk design, such as the brass table. This is a very popular room in our family because we're all really terrible TV fans. We love a movie. Before I show you the outdoor area, which is a place I love to be, let me show you some of the other rooms of the house. So this is one of our many spare rooms in the house and also our office space. And Peter still uses this room very much to work on design pieces, hence the multiple computers but it's also a really beautiful room with a gorgeous aspect looking out to outside. I'll show you our other guest bedroom. So this is our beautiful spare bedroom that features a cupboard wall of bedeg, which is a Balinese, or actually maybe Javanese style of weaving rattan. So let me take you to the pool. This is another area that we recently renovated. The pool was entirely lava stone before, but we have done it with this white marble tile. And we also had to build a wall. It originally looked out over two rice paddies. This brickwork is one of my favorite things and it's really special because it's such a uniquely Balinese skill. So this is our outdoor dining area. Again, a lot of great dinner parties here. And it's a beautiful spot because it has the cross ventilation of these open areas either side. So it has a lot of history and sentiment. Mm -hmm. 
Now I'm going to show you my absolute favorite room in the house. Come with me. So before I show you the bedroom, which is just on the other side of this terrace, I will first show you this beautiful balustrade that is inspired by a Chinese vector design, very much coming from our Shanghai background. And Peter's extraordinary roof system that he created, it's entirely sustainable using all in strips that are leftovers from building sites. It's especially lovely to be out here at sunset having a cocktail and then just being able to slip into my favorite room, my bedroom. <laughs> This is my favorite bedroom that I have ever, ever had. I wake up here and look outside and feel the space of this room and I am instantly calmed every morning. I just love it. And I'll show you our master bathroom. This is our master bathroom, which features this beautiful Javanese onyx. And I love this because it has a particular color of green in it that I've never seen since we first found this and installed it. It also has the beautiful tinted black glass and the black polished terrazzo around the entire room, including the bath. So from my room, we're just a very short step into the kids' room. This is my kids' room, which uh, is my daughter, China, and my son, Lucien, who lives in the top bunk bed. And this features a really beautiful marmorino plaster finish on the walls, which gives it a beautiful softness and a really sort of matte feeling, which we love. And then it looks out to the outside, a beautiful view of the garden and pool over our rooftop. Again, featuring furniture that we designed for Souk and has found its home here. Thank you so much, Bali Interiors. It was really lovely to have you taking a peek in my paradise. Bye for now. Love these houses? Book your spot and join our design and interiors retreat. If you like our content, like, subscribe and turn on notifications. Click here to see more of Bali interiors. Don't miss out on these inspiring homes.